Hi again, fellow unlicensed thinkers. Today I want to continue talking more about your psychological shadow, your Jungian shadow, and how that gets projected onto others and what you can do to reduce that projection, to see people and the world more as they are and less as you are. So that's what we really want. We want to see everyone for what they are, not what we project upon them. And we generally have this tendency to project upon people, so just admit it. <laughs> Once you do, life gets a lot easier. Now, before we get started, if you could go ahead and hit that like button for me, it helps me out in the algorithm. I, and I just can't quite reach it from here. Thank you very much. Uh, so our psychological shadow, actually, before I start, I am going to be playing with the lights in a moment here. So don't worry, there's not a problem. Everything's totally in control. Um, it'll make sense as we go. So our psychological shadow is much like a physical shadow. It gets projected onto the world around us. On a single light source, it creates a dark shadow. And let me just demonstrate that real quick. So you see, I turn on a single light. This is flashlight, right? So single light source creates all these shadows, these distortions. It makes things look different than they really are. It makes things potentially look scarier. Now, that's a flashlight. What I usually use, of course, when I do my videos is a ring light that is around my camera here. And that look, that ring light, it has, I don't know, 150, 200 different lights in it. So the, each one of these lights gives a different angle and it reduces the shadows. It reduces the distortion of what I look like. So for good or for bad, you see me as I really am without the shadows, without the distortion. And so that single source of light, it can change what your what the reality is that you see around you. And that's because you only have that one way of looking at things. When you get these multiple sources of light, all of these around the ring light, you get rid of all of the shadows. It makes things more clear, more beautiful. And our points of view that we have on different top topics, different subjects, they're just like those light sources. So if I only have one point of view on something, if I haven't honestly made an effort to go out and learn something from another point of view, another angle, I, what I'm doing is I'm shining that one single point of light on it. Just that light from this flashlight is the only point of light. And you saw how it distorts everything. It changes the way it looks. It makes it feel less friendly. It makes it feel um, more intense, more dark. So shining light from all of these, these um, light sources, these points of view, these different ways of seeing the world that you've learned, you start to see the world and people more as they are, more as they actually exist, because you get to see from this point of view and this point of view and this point of view. And so it makes it that much harder for you to cast your shadow onto them because you're seeing it from the point of view of this person you don't like, the point of view of this person you do like, the point of view of this person who is eh, kind of iffy, you're not really sure about, you know? <laughs> so you get all of their points of view and it's just like this ring light. All the shadows just start to disappear. The more points of view you have and the brighter you make each of those points of view, the less shadows can exist in, that, in the presence of that. <clears throat> So these points of view, they are, um, they're different, they're different information. They're different, um, ways of seeing everything. And when they get rid of that darkness and that, dis that distortion, we see the world as it is not as we are, is the common phrase. And so that's what we do when we get rid of those, those single points of light, those, um, those single points of view is we start to see the world as it truly is, not as we are. And if you're a wonderful person, it must be great to see the world it's so beautifully. But that's not necessarily the way the world is. So that's what we really want to see. We want to see, we don't want to project bad onto the world. We don't want to project good onto the world. We want to actually see the world as it is. And we know the phrase, um, sunlight is the best disinfectant. 
And what that really means is the more light that we put onto a topic, the more light that we put onto bad ideas or good ideas, the more we can truly know them, understand where they come from, understand their value, understand their pitfalls. And when we shine light on ideas, including our long held beliefs, because we get these extra points of view. So our long held beliefs don't always stand up to these extra points of view. Now that's a scary thing for the ego, but it is so valuable as far as personal development. Because you get all these different points of view, you start to dissipate and lessen the, the impact or the shine of that one single point of view that you had. Now you have multiple points of view and you start to be able to see where you've been infected with something that may be controlling you, indoctrinating you, maybe an incorrect way of thinking, maybe not up to the standards of your inner being. And another thing to be careful of along those lines, and back to the flashlight here, but this time I'm gonna keep the light on, the ring light on, is when you do have that one strong point of view, that one long held belief, even if you have other points of view, but you haven't really given weight to those other points of view, so the weight is still on your long held belief, what you end up with is still the same problem. It's a little bit less, but you still have the same problem. There's still that distortion of reality because you have that one point of view that is so strong that it's overpowering anything else. And so keep learning about those other points of view. Keep investigating, keep looking for other things that you can learn, keep finding more sources of light to diminish those shadows. Here's the hard one, stay open to being wrong and balance out all of these views. Say, you know what? This point of view might not always be the best. It might shine the brightest, but it might not always be the best. So I need to increase these other points of view until they're balanced till I've learned a lot about them. I understand them all well. I don't hate that person over there for thinking differently than me. I take time to understand why they think differently than me and things like that. So when you do that, you lessen the impact of this single source of light and you allow these other sources of light to balance it out, to bring a little bit of clarity, sanity, um, balance. <laughs> to your world. So balance those points of view. Allow yourself to be wrong. Allow yourself to say, you know what? I'm not so sure that just because this point of light is shining so bright that this is the one I should be paying attention to. Maybe it has gone out of balance and I should look at these other points of view and see what value they have and give them a true honest chance to show their value, to shine, to be important points of view in my world. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I, of course, love hearing from you. And be sure to hit like and share the video. Have a great day.